Hello and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. We are playing the Millennium Dawn mod here and it is April 2006 and New Zealand has gone communist. They've been taking over parts of the world and things are looking very much different in South America. We have slight alterations to the map required. So if you've got any old maps, throw them out this is now New Zealand okay we have been progressing into Peru we will continue progressing into Peru um, we're gonna play at speed 4 again um, just to keep things rolling um, we're gonna get people going in there and let's have everybody else just stop what they're doing just because we can um, we're in control apparently uh, oh no, actually I don't want to do that. I do want to do that. I wanted him moving up, didn't I? Uh, yes, something like that anyway. Yeah, he's moving back there. So we've got a little pocket of Peruvian troops going on. Uh, so we will see what we can do in this episode. Let's progress. Okay, so we did have a few troops there that we just pocketed up, cornered if you like and just wipe them out um, one thing that's going on uh, I've noticed is that we've got kind of loads of attrition going on with our troops already, although no, they're not actually moving around as much um, but because we're going to be dealing with kind of jungle territory and whatnot, I'm going to make an alteration here, it's something I thought on uh, between episodes um, so I think I'm going to take the air superiority off and see if we can't do something about any uh, attrition. Because I'm sure there's one here. I think that's the one. Yeah, division attrition, minus 4%. So let's have him. Let's just swap him out while we can. Uh, field hospitals are good. Um, let's just put that on pause because I think there's something else on here that I want to grab while we can. So we've got logistics going already. Uh, we'll grab that one. It's 125 days. And you know, well, we'll see if we can actually put it into the divisions now. We can, so yeah, that'll help us out. Um, they're gonna be suffering, basically, out in the field, so. If we give them less to actually think about, that should work. Um, I think there's only the mechanized now that has not got it, so we'll give them it. So that's all of our troops, apart from the marine divisions. Yeah, let's put it on there as well. If we thought about this, we could have done this before we actually created the templates out, I suppose. Hey ho, we do these things. So that's everybody now that's got a logistics support company, and that's probably our support equipment that's going to need shed loads now. <laughs> anyway, we do these things because we're trying to keep hold of our troops here and just make sure that they don't get killed. Everybody's going to die, but not on the battlefield. So, okay, let's move in there then, guys. Uh, okay, where have all those troops gone? Are they are they now invisible? Are Peruvian troops got stealth technology? Or has the computer just decided I've moved them to another port? N uh, no, because Peru doesn't have another port. Okay. Oh, oh right, okay, so... It looks as if they just gave up then. Oh, well that was an anticlimax. I'm prepping up for a real big battle and it's not gonna happen. Um, okay, right. Uh, well, this is Hearts of Iron. We, we're here for warfare, are we? Apparently. Uh, okay, so we get some goodies out of that. We've got a dockyard, um, we've got 
Uh, oh, hold on. What's going on there? Let's get that on reinforcements, so uh, because it's not handy having your troops have no supplies when the new guys coming out do. So let's have dockyards. Who needs what? They need. They need. Tanks, yes. Who else? Anti tank. Whoa, they need loads, don't they? What happened there? Okay, and we need more steel, it looks like, so I will trade out for that. Talk to our pals in the US. Hey, dudes. Can we have some steel? Okay, so the next target I think is going to be Ecuador. I think we kind of previously discussed this. If we haven't, I had it in mind that Ecuador is the next target. I kind of do have these mental conversations with myself and then just don't tell anybody else. Um, so, yeah, uh, so let's justify a war goal. Um, yep, 250 days. I think we can manage that. Uh, yeah, we're going to be facing more jungle territory, so this is this is horrible stuff to move in. Um, I went and did this campaign before. Uh, troops got bogged down uh, in Brazil, and I believe it was Colombia, and I had a nightmare of a time actually trying to work it out. Um, so I'm going to try something tricky here, it, because they've got potentially... 20 odd divisions there and if you look at their states they've got one two three four five six seven probably eight now they're gonna have one here aren't they now if you put four or five divisions in each one of those trying to get into that it's gonna be a nightmare so I'm gonna try something deceptive here if you like um, I'm not gonna bring the troops up onto the border I'm gonna put them uh, kind of like that, yeah. Um, so we can support them there. We can support them from the uh, from there. Oh, we have a new country, Montenegro. Um, welcome to the world. Um, okay, yeah. So we can support our troops here, but yeah, uh, resources um, and constru not construction infrastructure. It's quite low here, so I'm kind of going to leave that as a trap. I'm going to, hopefully going to draw the troops out from there into that area. They can get bogged down instead of me, and we will just trap them in the jungle. That's the idea. So, let's have a look at where we're actually putting our troops now. Still in Peru. We're going to capture them in Peru, so that's still correct. They're all on Peru, so that's still correct with those. Any more around? Mm, nope. Can we put any more out there? We can. We've actually been updating those just to get them up to those figures. So, I suppose we could do the same here. It's going to take all their numbers over the top on this one then. That's the problem. It's going to be too many aircraft at that particular airfield. But that's not a problem because we can put aircraft here as well. So we can put those there. And if we just increase that up to... Ooh, 2006 FIFA World Cup. Jimmy first notice oh, nice oh, okay uh, do, 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 do. okay well competition is over there but for us it's it's still going on okay so that's them up to 50 so if we take them up to 50 and I think We could actually put those, I suppose, there. The aircraft will move if they are under threat or if the airfield gets run over. Uh, run over? Sorry, overrun. What am I thinking? Well, obviously, I'm not thinking, so 
answers on the postcard. Um, now we could actually move those all there. In fact, I will, because they're going to have less time over the battlefield then. So let's get us up to speed five and let's kick the ball so we have a game going. We have a coup in Moldovia SSR. Okay. Well, the communists are obviously planning little plots everywhere, so do we want that yet? Ooh. Mm, is that a bit too far ahead, maybe? Uh, I, think, I think it probably is. Uh, maybe we get some of these up at some stage, because I think we did the tech on them previously. We went through our focus tree, so let's get these going now. We can make use of them. Oh, we've got two, so let's do... Yeah, let's do that one as well. Okay, that self-propelled... Um, so we have got self-propelled. I missed it, that's good. Okay. We have a national focus that we can do, so let's... Ooh, no, let's not do that. We um, Actually, no, we were going to do that, weren't we? Should we do those and then those? Or then... No, let's get the war support and base stability. Helps improve your um, factory output if you get stability up, so... But you know that. Surely you know that. Okay, we've got political power growing again. So... did have a look at this while in between episodes and I think this would be a good one to do. I don't have the points for it yet but as soon as you get 150 points I think we'll do that. We'll embrace the far left. Give him a big hook. Uh, okay so yeah we probably need to alter our combat force. They saw action. Um, and a bloody good job they did as well. So let's get him just up there and there. Has Ecuador got a fleet? No. Okay, well, better to be safe than sorry, I suppose. Uh, right, we have a tank division which we will put with him. Now that infantry division there, I tell you what, we'll, we'll train them up, and then once they're trained up, we'll move that one out to him. So we can actually do that one now, get them on the way. Okay. He's actually been learning some skills while he's been out in the field, which is good. So has Tim Gore, he's got attack and defence bonuses, and he works as an organiser and as a hill fighter, so he's very good for us in this part of the world anyway. Okay, let's assign a new general and I think we will have so this force is gonna be primarily mechanised of and motorised divisions. Um, I think we'll have this guy. So point can we add any more tanks? No. Okay, that answered that one. We are still on reinforcements, let's have a look. Oh yes, quite a few tanks required. Okay. I will um, forget I had that idea then, I suppose. Um, let's get the anti-air and... I suppose if we do that one, this is only 15 days. That one's only 18 days left on logistics, so... We'll see what we can do after. Meanwhile, our whole forces are defending our territory here. We have naval corvette. Or oh, just one on its own. Apparently so. Yeah, we have anti... Hold on, let's just... 
Let's get some of those being built uh, for our New Zealand Fleet 2. One ship on its own is not going to do a lot, is it? So we have improved anti-air, uh, sorry, anti-tank weapons coming. So that was that one. Uh, what can we aid our infantry with next? Green laser sights or modern fatigues? Okay, after that one we'll do that one. We'll get the modern fatigues now. It's gonna give all the troops some defense values. Right, they are now not green troops, which is always helpful. There you go. That's what maps should look like now. So if it's telling you anything different, chuck that atlas out. Buy a new one. Or keep the old one because old maps apparently are um, worth something at some point, I suppose, for history value, and historical value, I should say. It's late. I'm doing words at the moment. It's not my thing, not really. Okay, so we can improve that. Um, did we get a new tank there? No. Must have just been that one then. Okay. Right, let's get demographic studies because that's going to give us gate stability plus 2%. Uh, please, thank you. Ah, uh, right, okay, so that's maintenance company on the way. And. And, is it too early to go for that one? It is. Okay, so maybe not that then. Um, so... Yeah, we could do with that really. And... And that. Uh, hmm. That will help us out immediately. when I say immediately, in whatever days it takes now to produce it. 70 odd days. So we've got political power growing again. So we need to do something really in the world. Um, now, have we already started? That's another thing. In the previous campaign I did this, and because uh, I was facing the whole of NATO, so Try breaking it up. Um, now, so France has, in previous, in its previous history, it's had communist influences, but not anymore. Not there anyway. Um, so why not Spain? So I'm looking for people that are actually in NATO. And well, we know that the United Kingdom isn't because they've got the London Pact going on. Um, so, a lot of Europe is now not in NATO. Uh, well, the Baltic states, they haven't joined yet, I don't think. I don't know whether the Balkans and some of the regions around here actually join NATO later on. I think they do. Um, but, yeah, we need to break this little uh, stage. Uh, yeah, okay. They've got communist on there. Good old Silvio. Um, he's a friend of Russia, is he? That's interesting. Okay, so. Well, that's what we'll do then. Let's influence Italy. Let's have some communist Italian wine. Because that's got to be red, hasn't it? <laughs> These awful jokes, they are all available, um, if you just think about it. Okay, so we have another text slot, so what? So I'm not going to go for that one, not yet, because, yeah, I don't think that'll have that much of an impact on us. What are enemies? We're doing that. We could 
do with that, but we could also do with a new attack aircraft, and we really need to get down that as well. Um, no, let's start that. Or do we? No, let's do that one. Okay, I promise the next one will be nuclear reactors. I'm sure. I'm sure it will. I think that's how the decision process works. A delay, a delay, a delay, and then I decide the delay is long enough, so... Okay, so what are we facing? Uh, yeah... That's a standard. They're not up to full strength, so... We could, if we could actually get their brigades just to come out into this bit. Say, trap them, and then we'll take defensive lines up behind these, and just... I don't know, maybe just... <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking we could just put an order straight in and then just go up this bit maybe I've come up with daft plans um, okay um, so what else we've got going on here I suppose personal defense weapons for our special forces they'll come in handy yeah um, toad anti-air have improved anti-air. Okay. We still have that low manpower going on, but we are getting 1.43 thousand per month from all the states that we're taking over. So <coughs> it's better than what it has been. Uh, so I I don't think it's worth actually doing any of these now because they just you've got well we can't do that one anyway. It would have been nice for the 20% population on that one, but we can't do it because we're communist. Well, communist in name, anyway. Um, so, let's get some more factories. Because we can. We need them. Now, supplies. Let's have a look at supplies. Okay, so local infrastructure, we know that that's bad there. It's been supported there. So let's just have a look. Yeah, we're still building that one. I think five should do okay. How are we doing? We've maxed that one out, haven't we? Maybe we need another port there then, just max that out. We have two tech slots, so it's a bit far ahead. We could do that one and delay in that one. Uh, so on there, was it? Now, what are these looking like? These are all way ahead of time, aren't they? I would like that. I think that's kind of not necessary at the moment, yeah. Uh, that would be good to get you get that going. But we did say we were going to do that, so I will not let you down. We need nukes. I'm sure everybody else is developing them. What's Brazil looking? Our big neighbour. Yes. Uh, yeah, they're growing, aren't they? They are a major threat, actually. A nice smile though. He will never go to war against anybody, will he? No, I don't think so either. Where's our illustrious leader who also has a nice smile? Um, but we found that we will go to war. Well, we've persuaded her. Uh, so we've got major market liberal rally going on. Uh, let's not have any support for that, please. Ah, that's a point. I could do that now, can't I? Embrace far left philosophy. Let's do that. We are way over on that. 
Uh, okay, so industry. Because we're feeling industrious. Okay, Ecuador. How long have we got? 20th of January, so not long now. Um, okay, that's fine. I can live with that. Yeah, not too sure how many divisions they've got, but I still think if we just barged in there, we're just going to run straight into what they want. Whereas if we draw them out and then nip in behind them, maybe. I'd like to be able to tell our mountain troops to actually be up here. Uh, nice to have them all up here. I bet they won't do that, will they? Uh, no, that's all of them, isn't it? There's only four. Yeah, it'd be nice to just take that ridge there all the way up to the capital. Once they've started moving anyway, if they if they fall for it, there's nothing to say that they will. But I think if if the AI sees this as empty territory that I've got no troops in, I think it will see that as, yeah, we can take it. Maybe. So is there anything else on there that we can actually do? Do we need air experience or... Uh, really? It doesn't really add a lot to anything really, do you this does it? Kind of a waste. We can put decisions on there and make sure that they're actually worth something. Okay, this is going to get confusing because that's they're all the same colour. I don't want that. Uh, he can be yellow uh, for no other reason that it's a colour. Uh, he can be red. And he can be... Ooh, Major Democratic Socialist Rally. There's a lot of kind of rallies going on. We're busy with the war, have you not noticed? Him as blue. And let's come back to New Zealand. Haha. -ha. Okay, so let's take it down just the one. So we're playing at four. Let's declare war. And what's this? North Island. Okay. Uh, well, let's just increase their amount to that while we're at it. But we don't want to do anything with them because these have no navy. So I think we're fine. Uh, yeah, let's see what they do then. We can always just barge in if it comes to it. Well, they're making no moves that we can see. Well, they do have aircraft, so... Maybe their aircraft need to come over and find that there's nothing there. Maybe. Right, they, they have actually got the fighters out there, so, okay. Right, they're on the move. Okay, this is good. Well, they're on the move. It'd be nice if we could actually draw these out as well. They, they look as if they are moving. trouble is it takes so long to actually move out here okay this might actually work or not ok 
Okay, so that's six divisions that's out there. They're still moving. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They have suddenly moved. So, okay, so let's get a battle plan. Uh, yeah. So I only want to restrict this front to probably that. If they come over there, they could actually sneak in, I suppose. However, we need to do a staged invasion now. So, hmm. So, if I go for, I don't know, will it? I don't know whether they'll be able to go straight up there. Uh, I want that, don't I? So, yeah. Uh, no, so it's coming from that side, isn't it? I don't want that. That's not the order that I'm looking for. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Um, no, I don't want that. I want to come from. I want to come from there. Can I move that? I'm saying that I can. So can I? Can I not move that from there? No. Why is it going to be from there? That's annoying. So even that's wrong. I mean, why isn't it coming from that side? You saw how the Peruvian order worked. I mean, they just they went all from one area, didn't they? Yeah, I don't want that. Why? Why can't I do that? Uh, hmm. Maybe we won't have a field marshal order them. Yeah, let's delete that. Delete that. So. Um, I might actually just inc include them on that side for now. I know everybody else is actually split up, but if we do this this way, so I know he's looking at a lot of troops there, but add those there. Um, no, we're going to need. He's at least got one division out there, and he's so. Yeah, okay, so let's grab those. He can have them. And we'll give him an order to do that. His mission is to protect that. Is it only three divisions? It's got 13 there. Can you not count? Uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be going just keeping them there, aren't we? Yeah. Can we be cheeky and just increase that then? That might work. Let's do that. So I'm not going to give him an order yet, but he should be ready to go. Okay, let's go for it. Let's see if we can get in there. naturally gone out because they've just moved haven't they yeah okay you all better be moving in the right places because if we can capture all of these and get in there why are they not moving though Uh, 
Ah, that's why. Well, I think that's why anyway. Well, let's force the issue. It's fine up there. I need. No, he's going to stay there, isn't he? Hopefully. Keep them occupied. Uh, yep, let's get a tank division moving up there as well. Let's get our marine divisions moving up there. And hopefully we will trap them all in a nice little pocket. Where are you going? Yep, you better be moving troops around there because we need a bit of support. That's good. So the tank divisions are actually moving quite well up there. Uh, right, okay, so let's have you force that issue. You can support him. Uh, can we take their port, maybe? Factories. So is that all one tile there, or is that it's separate? So that's good. Now, if we can just get in there, let's have you guys move in there. You can support what are you doing. I do need you guys moving up as well. You are. And if we can take that up, well, I don't know, maybe. Let's just pause that a second. Uh, da, 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 da. Personal weapons, yes, please. Um, let's get that going because I wanted that before, but I didn't do it. Right, okay. Let's have a look. Let's see what our guys can do. Now they are retreating. Well, it looks like they're going that way. He's moving forward. So, okay, let's get that tank division in there. And these are now all cut off. So, you are going to have more aggressive stance and your yeah, your offensive line will be uh, well basically I don't know just take all that do that I mean we have them trapped so should be cut off. Ah! Okay, I mean, I can go for that. Well, that worked a hell of a lot better than what I expected. And, okay. Our next target is right in front of us. Columbia. So, what are we facing? They've got loads. So we've got 250 days to actually improve the infrastructure around here so we can do what kind of area we're looking at yeah that's jungle in it i wonder if we could actually do the same again just move along this mountain line here uh this is this is the andes isn't it um so uh do 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 i do you know i don't know i'm i'm Let's increase his battle plans. Let's see if we can get an order that's on the same basis as what we've just done. Because if we can, I want to get him going up there. And then we'll have him as this flanking maneuver here, just to keep these occupied. 
Uh, but yeah, we'll push right from there and see what we can do. Okay, so we did actually get some factories. So, what do we need? We need anti-tank, mechanized, and tanks. Um, nothing new then. Tanks. Where's our anti-tank? That's anti-air in it. Anti-tank. Okay, well that means that we're going to need a hell of a lot more supplies though. So, United States, yes. Can we grab any more? I think we can. So, yep, yeah, okay. Uh, right, can we justify? Let's justify then. Let's get this on. Um, looks like a good one. So, 255 days. Okay, so no deception really going on here. We will just um, we'll move. I don't know. Probably those to there. Put them on that. What else we got? That's two hundred and four. How is it two hundred and four? Okay. Oh, that's because there's 48 on that one. Uh, let's just that, take that down to a normal number because it gets. I like normal figures. I can actually put them in airfields and we don't get any penalties. So, okay, let's have them. Uh, let's remove. Japan is remilitarizing, are they? Okay. Good for them. So. Let's have that there. They're fine. Let's move those up there. Might as well have all the support we can get. Now our strategic bombers we we'll put there. And have we got any more left there? No. So Bump it up to five. Okay. Uh, no, we're not playing as Australia. We are playing as New Zealand. Right, so let's go for that one. Oh, what was I going to do here? Um, yeah, we need to split that. So we have those. And those. So we've got protection either way. Um, we could do with some in the coal sea as well, but I don't think we've got enough. Not, not yet. But we have got UCAV, so we can put those over Colombia. I don't think they've got brilliant range though, have they? The early versions. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, it'll, yeah, it'll do something, won't it? Process support. Oops. Come up there. Right. Let's have a look at their divisions, see what they've got. So it's a 7 2 combination. Oh, another one with average strength is 12%. What's going on? Is it because they're in the jungle? There's quite a few mechanized there, don't there? That's a mobile brigade. That's a split between motorized and mechanized. Um, I can't see any tank brigades there at all. So that's interesting. Um, Ecuador troops went with tanks. These have gone with mechanized. But look at that, just 18% strength. So I don't want that to happen to our guys. I don't want them just set out here.
I'm not too sure how you like that as an order, because I haven't given you an order. However, I will let you consider this. Uh, that's just a crazy line, don't do that. Just, just, no, just don't do that. That's... I'm not too sure what draw because I was actually on when I drew that line. But yeah, that's kind of go sideways. It's going over those rivers that'll be the problem. So yeah, work on that. Um, you can get a planning bonus. Why do you think that's risky? Did you not see what we've just done? We worked a miracle. Uh, yeah. Du -du -du. Okay. They revoked Article Nine. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Um. No, that's that one. Why not? Sorry. Yeah, I was going to look for kind of scores of kind of how we'd actually done battle-wise. I don't know how many casualties we just took on that last one. Do, would this tell us? I think it does, doesn't it? Gives you history. It does, yeah, it's that one. Uh, so, how do we do? Right, so we lost... Very few. In the last two months. So last a thousand. So even for them, we actually help them out. Number last eight point one thousand. So, taking the capital actually cost us some men. And as did that area there, the right turn. Okay. Not bad, I suppose. By attrition, yeah. That's not good. So if you lose it in battle, you can understand that, but if it's just by attrition, uh, yeah, that's not clever. Uh, okay, we'll carry on putting the divisions with him at the moment, because I can see him being used <coughs> probably down here when we go against Brazil. Uh, so that's at least an episode away. And why are we lagging? Because it's trying to save the game. And I'm trying to save lives by taking over countries. So we've got recruitable 1.83 thousand there, which is good. So 32 divisions in total. Hmm. Too sure how long that will actually last in the campaign though. We need a good million. Not a bad million, a good million. Okay. How long have we got? 13th of November, so now these have actually got a navy and an air force. So we oh, don't think I can get my ships through there. Um, might be able to get them up to there though. Oh, we have more missile cruisers. So let's give you a patrol order of here, here. Um, I don't think they'll get further south than that. 
it is possible that they could actually go all the way round and do a naval invasion. So we'll look out for any invasions. Communist rally, that's more like it. That's what we need for our homeland. Ah, now. Generation 4 attack aircraft was the last one. So... Let's get a really good version of it. And, yep, that's those points easily spent. Uh, So, more factories, please. And we do talk enough factories. We do have some, so. Still need. Mechanized. Still need tanks. Not so many other tanks. So. Hmm. Okay. Mechanized it is. Let's put them on there then. And of course, that means we need more supplies. Supplies! We need some more supplies! Okay, so I did actually say I was going to do this, and I forgot. So let's increase that to 5. Get up to 5. Get that up to 5. Because uh, I don't think they would fall for the same trick. <laughs> trick. I know what you're saying, it wasn't a trick, it was a brilliant strategic move. Yeah, right, okay. It was a trick. Smoke and mirrors. So there's still got a lot of troops out there that haven't got equipment. How many factories have they got? I've got 14 factories, so... Okay. I mean, I'm not arguing, and I'm not going to moan about it, um, but it just seems strange to have all those divisions out there, and they haven't got enough strength to them. So the AI is just throwing out divisions and it hasn't got equipment for those divisions. It looks as if that's what's going on, which is not really sensible. Although I suppose we would do the same if it came to an emergency case. You need to defend your homeland, you've got troops training up, you throw them out, don't you? Even if they're green, they've got no equipment, they're using broomsticks to fend people away from the shores. If you need to do it, you do it. Um, yeah, I'm kind of reluctant to actually get any more factories for trade. Um, hold on. Well, that's going to improve. Does that improve our situation much? I don't think so. Hundred forty days, hundred seventy-five. A bit far ahead, really. It's a bit far ahead. We're working on that. Do we get the next fighter, maybe? Still way ahead, aren't they? New tank, new infantry fighting vehicle. Or do we go for that? A bit far ahead. Yeah. 
Let's improve the fighter. Uh, yes, yeah, so... Can we get... Oh, I've only got those spaces there, haven't I? I suppose I could put a steel factory there. We'll eventually get the stuff. It's 135 days. 199 is a bit far. What else do we need? 132, that's 166, that's way ahead. What do we need? Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. We need that one. Whoops. Not like that. Okay. 13th of November. And we are coming up to time. A few minutes left on this video, guys. So it looks as if we'll get up to the position of going to war. But in there'll be in the next episode. Oh, that's a bit messy. That's. And if the music's been too loud, just let me know. Um, I hope you've heard me okay on this video. I've had to do the separate soundtrack again, playing, because Millennium Dawn and the music tends to just cut out, so I've got parts of my music playing on a separate player. That was the best way of doing it. Uh, that's good. That's good to know. Still mechanized, 63 days, and 43 days. That's new equipment, though. Is that for new? Yep, yeah, that's for new equipment as well. So everybody out in the field has got equipment. So that's good. Uh, saying that, um, yeah, we've got motorized rocket artillery out there now, haven't we? So actually start putting that into our mechanized brigade yeah we've got enough um, we've got enough troops for it so we've got more mechanized brigades coming along I mean, we could have also, if we were developing the light tanks, we could have put them in there, but uh, I think motorized rocket artillery is the way to go. Because I love it. Okay, let's have a quick check on Italy. How are you looking? You are growing in communist support. That's good. So we've got uh, 0 0.03 per day. So that's good. So let's see if we can break Italy. While we improve South America. Or is it the state of New Zealand? <laughs> Thirteenth of November. Okay, it's still a while away in it, so I'm not exactly leaving you on a cliffhanger. I don't think here it'll still be another, I think, month or something before uh, we go to war against Colombia and nick all their coffee and just find out where all these hidden statues of money are. You've seen narcos, haven't you? Yeah. You know what it's about. Right, I'm going to call it there then, guys. So we're up to October. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, we got through Peru and Ecuador. 
a bit of a deceit to actually get the Ecuadorian troops out, but hey, it worked. Uh, so, like, comment and subscribe if you like to, and I will see you in the next episode. See you later. Bye.